historically tended to be a bit of a shout and scream and, and ball in instructions. I think now we're looking for the, for the boys themselves to find solutions uh, you know, in the systems, in the way they play. We have to value them, we have to treasure them and we certainly here feel that we don't really want to do anything that's going to be harmful to them in any way. A lot of the younger practices are based around fun, the fun element of the, uh, the training programme. That's the best way the players learn. Academies are set up to produce players for you know, a club's first team, but it's a long, long way. So a young boy comes to us at nine, uh, we don't have any expectations that he's going to play in our first team. We can't. We just deal with him as he is now. Hope that he develops where he is now as a young person and grows and develops those skills over a period of time. We mustn't move away from the fact, certainly at the younger ages, that it's still about fun, first and foremost. Edward's been coming here for the best part of seven and a half years now. Um, it's a very warm and friendly environment where I know that he's learning and he's learning in a way that he feels uh, is comfortable for him. They're nicely, they, they won't shout, they won't, they'll, they'll tell you what's right and what they think you should do, but it's really it's up to you in the end. It's a nice, fun environment, you can develop really good coaches. Coaching is about helping players to solve problems and if they can solve the problems for themselves then that's like Nirvana because that lasts for a long, long, long time. And with the ball, where must she get the ball to? A typical example might be in an analysis session and, and the question of what could you have done better as opposed to you did this wrong. And I think, you know, the, the phrasing of that question gives you the, you know, the, the, a more significant response. Space to... Up to the primary goal is development. That's first and foremost, and I think that reflects in the academy fixtures because they're all judged as uh, development games and there's no points at stake anyway. The parents, I think, very quickly learn that this is about developing children and not a results orientated business. It's a positive education, so when, when parents arrive here, we have meetings, we inform them what the standards are expected of their, of their boys in terms of behaviour. But, but more importantly, you know, what their, what their behaviour is going to be like. A lot is made of, you know, tucking your shirts in, pulling your socks up, being polite, not arguing with referees, um, etc, etc. And if you're in an influential position, like a coach may be, I think if they exhibit those type of behaviours, then those behaviours pass themselves on and it becomes part of the player's mentality as well, and equally the parents on the sidelines watching.